Prince Charles was supported by his wife Camilla today as he stepped in for the Queen at the state opening of Parliament. It was the first time ever that Charles delivered the Queen's speech at the event after his mother pulled out of attending last night. The Queen revealed last night that she would be missing from the event for the first time in nearly 60 years and she reluctantly decided not to attend on the advice of royal doctors due to her continued mobility problems. On her arrival at the House of Parliament, Charles could be seen emerging from his car wearing his Admiral of the Fleet uniform, medals and honor insignia while Camilla looked elegant in a navy coat dress and matching hat. As they got out of their vehicle at the Sovereign's entrance, the pair appeared to exchange a few words before they went inside the building. And according to a lip, reader, during the exchange between the pair, Charles issued a complaint to his wife. Jeremy Freeman, an expert in lip reading told the Mirror, says as they got out of the car, Charles told Camilla, Oh my word that was uncomfortable. Love the Royals. Sign up for the Mirror's daily newsletter to get all the latest news on the Queen. Charles, Kate, Wills, Meghan, Harry and the rest of the firm. Click here to sign up. Shortly afterwards, Charles could be seen gesturing to Camilla, appearing to tell her what side she should be standing on. And according to Jeremy, as he points out where Camilla should stand, he says, your side. Meanwhile a few minutes later as Charles greets officers lining the route to the throne room, he approaches the last one and says, I hope you're well. The officer then leans forward as he didn't hear the remark and according to Jeremy says, What? Sorry. Charles the repeats what he said to the officer, who replies, Well, yes I'm trying. Charles and son Prince William jointly opened Parliament on the Queen's behalf as councillors of state after the monarch delegated the important duty to them. For the speech, the 73-year-old prince sat not on the sovereign's throne, which had been removed, but on the consort's throne, which used to be occupied by his father, the Duke of Edinburgh, and which Charles has used in recent years. A space remained next to him, where the Queen's missing throne is usually located, under the opulent canopy, with the monarch's imperial state crown in front on a velvet cushion. The ceremony was also a first for second, in, line, to, the, throne William, 39, who will also one day be king. Joe Little, managing editor of Majesty magazine, described the occasion as a big moment in royal history. Mr. Little said of Charles, it must have been a hugely significant moment for him. It was rather telling the way that as the imperial state crown was placed on the table at the side of him, he looked at it for several seconds. You kind of wondered at the time what was going through his mind. As people have been saying today, we're looking at the future. It was a duty that he would rather not have had to fulfill but nevertheless that's what he and William were there for as counselors of state. It's a big moment in royal history.